Hey guys, Jason here from Huck Outdoors and today I've got a product review for you. It's a Gregory Zulu 55. Well, let's get to that review. This here is a Gregory Zulu 55 backpack. I bought it as an upgrade to a bigger, a little bit bigger pack than my REI Flash 48. But I didn't want something as big as my Go Light, which is a Quest 80, which I use on the Lost Coast Trail. This here fits a bear canister in it fine. I was going to use it for Mount Whitney. I was on Mount Whitney with it, but then I was sick, so I turned back around. I've used it overnight at um, San Jacinto, and this weekend I'll be taking overnight to San Bernardino Peak. So I wanted to show you guys a, little, a few things on here. So far, I'm loving the pack. I've got a Zulu 30, which is my day pack, which I love, and I'm falling in love with this. Super comfortable. The all this anything here like is all padded, as you can see. The padding's real nice. The lumber support's really padded. But along the back here is what's called the cross-flow technology. Let me flip these over here. You guys can see it. It holds it off your back, just like on the Zulu 30. And your back doesn't get sweaty from this coming up against here. You've got a couple nice pockets here. One's mesh, one is not. But I, one of them I put extra batteries in for my trip. The other one's usually some snacks or like a I'll put my Leatherman in, maybe my chapstick, bug spray, stuff like that. When I come over here, I'm going to show you the bottom here quick. You've got the two straps right here, but inside, this is a nice little sleeping bag container. My, Zel my Kelty Cosmic 20 fits in here perfect. Right now I've got a little, just a little small 45 degree down bag that I keep in my car just for emergencies. It fits in there great. If you need to, if you want to keep it. If you don't like to keep your sleeping bags in a pack, fits in there just fine. Your top pouch is actually co comes off if you need it to, but it's got two zippered pockets, a big one here. The underneath, you've got another one right here. And inside here, you, there's a clip, which I could take my keys to the car and put them right on. I'm not going to lose my keys for the trip. Another good place that I've been able to put my keys is in here where you got your rain cover. It comes with a rain fly, so you don't have to worry about a rain cover. It comes with one. Real lightweight. I just keep it in there just in case. I don't feel like taking out then wondering later where the hell I put it. But I can put my keys in there too because it's zippered and it's in this pouch, which it's not going to fall out right there. But another thing I want to show you guys. Say you're looking through your pack and I don't know, you've got something down packed at the bottom, maybe you got socks, you walked in water or something, your feet got wet. Well, you just undo here, undo all the straps, and right here it's got a little center support or center zipper. So I can go right in. Oh, I need my fleece blanket, pull it out. Say you've got your socks in there, food or whatever, easy to get to, so you're not just going through the top top of the bag and trying to pull everything out. So I want to show you one last thing that really was one of the biggest selling points for me. So you guys go up to the summit like I did at San Jacinto for example. We left all our gear at camp. I didn't feel like taking everything up. I just got a summit bag. Well this comes with a summit bag. I'm going to take this apart as I'm talking to you. Just a couple buckles here. Easy to get in. There's one off, here's the other off. But this is where your hydration bladder goes. But it's real lightweight. All it is is a summit bag. I can keep, say I could keep my hydration bladder in here for the, the hike up. Oh, I don't know, maybe put a, Oh, look, I got business cards for the summit. So if you ever see that, you know, Huck Outdoors. But I can put all sorts of things in here. Food, some snacks, water, whatever. Maybe my down, my down jacket fits in there and then when I'm coming back down the mountain I just put it back in and I'll show you right there just connects to that little loop right there and really easy to do so big selling point for me I don't have to carry another bag to do my summit bag now or take the you know the top comes off I don't need to do that I could just I just bring that and that's my summit bag so far, I'm really impressed with, with this bag. I'm going to be using it for many trips. 
um, winter trips especially because I can put a lot of gear in there my cold weather gear you know I don't I say a lot of gear I don't really take a lot but it's just a little bit bulkier you know like a, a bigger down jacket or a bigger sleeping bag just so I stay warm maybe a couple extra pairs of clothes to stay warm it's I don't take anything else more I'm still using the same tent which is a quarter dome one which I strap up on top I really don't put it inside I always keep it up on top but yeah it's a great pack if you guys got any questions ask me questions um, any comments leave them on this video I'll try to answer everything for you I'll put the specs as well I think it's right at three pounds it might be a little bit under three pounds but great pack Gregory makes great stuff so is Osprey those are two big name brands I know a lot of people are starting to go with the ULAs the some of the go lights I know they just came out with a new brand um, there's Gossamer gear but this here for ULA maybe a little bit over a pound pound and a half this is twice as, right under three pounds two something and it's not killing my back that little bit added comfort is in the in the straps itself with a little bit of that padding and it you can feel it you can feel that comfort so check it out guys I hope you like this video hope you like the review if you're not a subscriber hit subscribe remember leave me a comment on this video leave it below questions on it I'll get back to you let you know and hit like if you like the video so thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next adventure